Hello everyone and welcome. I am Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube. And Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guidance Academy has given me the pleasure, the honor to give you guys 12 readings, 12 Tarot and Oracle readings exclusively only for Spiritual Guidance Academy. This is a spread the Divine Holy Spirit gave me exclusively for this right here this channel this purpose right here okay you guys you know tarot energy is fluid take what is for you leave what is not okay these messages are timeless so assure that if the message is resonating with you that it will find you at the appropriate time okay also you guys please leave us a comment let us know what you thought of the video give us a thumbs up subscribe to spiritual guidance academy channel and then come check me out over at empress queen tay tarot and oracle okay so with that being said you guys i'm going to get right into this reading i'm going to use the keepers of the light oracle deck to open up, okay, our angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. What is coming through? What is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with? Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming out for the collective that I may be resonating with? Thank you. And we have Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Okay, third eye chakra energy. Okay, seeing beyond. Okay, something is divinely coming together. Okay, move beyond current challenges. So something may be difficult. Something may be hard to overcome right now. Okay, but you're needing to just focus on that which you're trying to bring towards you. Is what the Divine Holy Spirit is giving me off of that. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what else is coming out of the collective? That I may be resonating with Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. Thank you. And we have increased awareness, deep connections, trust your inner voice. Okay. So definitely something is coming together for the collective here. You're needing to just be in this receptive energy, this receiving energy. Okay. Increased awareness. Okay. Deep connection. Trust your inner voice. You're needing to. I'm also feeling grounding energy here as well. Okay. So we're gonna get into Soul's Journey deck, and we're gonna see what soul lesson you may need to pay attention to. What's coming out? Okay. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, what's coming out for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, what's coming through? For the collective, thank you. What is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with? Thank you. Okay. So we have surrender. I can release my need to control. Okay. We have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Okay. And I feel like this is all, you know, moving beyond something. Releasing any blame. Releasing any just, just accepting responsibility for your part. How you feel. What you have to do with the situation. The circumstance. Okay. 
surrendering that, okay? And just focusing on your purpose, okay? Focusing on what you desire, okay? Definitely moving beyond an obstacle. Something has been made clear to you. Some type of deep connection you've had, okay? Some type of revelation I'm getting off of this um, increased awareness, Master Buddha energy, okay? And I feel like, you know, this is the energy surrounding the spirit is giving me is surrender. Okay. I can release my need to control. And that's also controlling how an outcome is going to be. Okay. Moving beyond a challenge and surrendering. Okay. Walking in your purpose. Okay. And releasing any kind of blame. So we're going to go in with an affirmation, archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is the affirmation for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is the affirmation? Thank you. And we have everything I touch is a success. Pop right off. Just like that. I now establish a new awareness of success. I now I know I can be as successful as I make up my mind to be. I move into the winning circle. Golden opportunities are everywhere for me. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. Okay. Look at that beautiful energy coming out. There we go. Okay. And I feel like this is because you're moving in your purpose and you're releasing some things. Okay. You're trusting your inner knowledge right here. Okay, you're establishing a new way of being and a new way of moving, a new way of focusing. Okay, is what I'm getting off of that. So, Spirit is leading me to the Angel Oracle. So, we're going to get an Angel Oracle message here, a Guardian Angel Oracle message, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. What is coming through? And we have prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring and fulfilling life. Help me to feel God's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side. Okay, a prayer coming out. Okay. And I feel like that is the energy that's coming out from all this. You know, you're moving beyond something. You're focusing on your dreams. And you're calling out to your guardian angels to help you move through, through this. That all is possible. Everything that you want. Everything you're trying to manifest. Everything you want to fulfill in your life. That it is possible. Okay. God, source, the creator, the universe, however you resonate, we don't judge. But the card says, help me to feel God's presence in every moment. Despite what you have to go through, despite what you have to own up to, or what someone else may not be owning up to you. you owning up to, okay? Yeah. And I just have to point out that, you know, there's only five prayers in this deck. Okay, only five. So you got one of them. That's a special card. So we're going to go in with the wisdom of the oracle. And we're going to get a message from the higher self. We're going to get a message from the ancestors. And we're going to get a message from 
the guardian angels, okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is the message that's coming forth for the collective that I may be resonating with? Allow me to tap into their energies, archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. This is about also being focused, Spirit is giving me. This is about being focused and surrendering, okay, to what it is that you're desiring this path, okay? Trusting your inner knowledge, okay, is what I'm getting. It's coming out. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message for the collective that I may be resonating with you now at a later date? Divine Holy Spirit, what's the message from the higher self? What's the message from the higher self? Archangels, ancestors, thank you. Okay. Archangels, ancestors, thank you. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, what's the message? Thank you from the higher self. Thank you. We have thinker, we have mending, and we have deep knowing. Okay. So it is something that you're, like I said, it's something that you're heavily thinking about. It's something that is on your mind. There's a challenge here within what it is that you're trusting and you're believing in. And it is something that you're needing to just accept and heal. Okay. I feel heavily connected with this blame. Whatever this is, responsibility, you're taking, um, whatever this is that you're taking responsibility for. In a situation, in a relationship, okay? Because I keep hearing blame game coming through, okay? And I also feel like, you know, this is also a, about mending the connection to the point that it's able to allow you to heal and move on, okay? Because this think of card is about being in deep thought. And for some of you, it's a deep thought about a connection that you know, you know, for some of you, it's divinely guiding. For others of you, you know, you had to go through this for a particular or uh, certain reason. But uh, for a few of you, not sure who it resonates with, this is allowing you to be drawn to your purpose. And now you're understanding and establishing a new way of being. Okay. A new way of living, a new way of understanding, a new way of moving. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy coming out from the ancestors? What is the message? Time to go. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the Guardian Angels? And we have, to be fair, clean it up, yin, feminine energy, and unfinished symphony. Okay, and I really feel like, you know, your Guardian Angels are protecting you. Okay, this feminine energy of love, this feminine energy of nurturing is coming in. Okay, a balance is coming in over a situation, you know, that might cause up some dust, you know. But I feel like something, it is something here that the spirit is wanting you to mend in a connection. Not for as maybe get back with someone, but heal it enough for you to walk away and be able to move on. Be able to move on into what it is that you're desiring. Walking in your purpose. Okay. This unfinished symphony. About a situation or a relationship. Okay. That's just, you know. It won't get its chance to be finished. And that's the way the Divine Holy Spirit may have it. It was beautiful when it started. It ended kind of crazy or kind of abruptly. Okay. Or you want it more. But for whatever reason, it's not. So you need to clean up those feelings, clean up those emotions, clean up whatever it is about that situation or relationship, okay? Really pay attention to how you feel about that, okay? Because there is a balance in all this. There is a reason why it draws you to your purpose, okay? It allows you now to be in this winning circle, okay? You're feeling this divine energy all around you is what I'm getting off of this energy right here. Okay. 
So we're going to go in. With the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. And we're going to go into this spray that the Divine Holy Spirit gave me. Okay. It's a six card spread. It is the first card um, is your energy. The second card is what is grounding you. The third card is your desires, your goals. Okay. The fourth card is energy around which you need to let go of. The fifth card is where to direct your intentions and your energy. The sixth card is advice slash outcome. And then we're going to go over that with a three card spread from um, the tarot. Um, modern witch oracle deck. I mean tarot deck. Past, present, future energy. And then we might get into a card or two for advice. Okay. And this card wanted to flip over. And it's the hermit. Retreat and recharge. Okay. So I really feel like, you know, the collective that I'm reading for right now, it is the energy of just having to need to focus on yourself, okay? That Zen energy is coming out twice, okay? That deep connection with yourself. When you're connecting deep within yourself, you're connecting to your higher self. You're connecting to your spiritual team, the archangels, the ancestors, Father God, you know? And they're, they're communicating something to you here. Okay, about a, a way it is that you're feeling here. Okay, about a situation that you had to let go of that may have ended, you know, just kind of abruptly or sadly or something like that is what I'm getting. Okay, I also am feeling like a lot of times of reflecting on when things were. Okay, and for a lot of you guys, you've tried to work on this situation many times before, but something is coming in. Okay. Something just, something balanced is coming in to, I, I feel like, have you know your worth, okay? I feel like a lot of uh, the collective that I'm reading for is knowing their worth and then knowing that something is time to go. It's time to clean the situation up. And I feel like this is what you're trying to process with this hermit energy, okay? A lot of you may be just, you know, they cut a lot of friends out, I'm feeling off of this, or you just, you know, are just in this, you know, um... Healing energy is what I'm feeling. Okay, the seeking energy. Okay, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. What is coming out for the collective that I may be reading for either now or at a later date? What is the energy ground in the collective, Divine Holy Spirit? Thank you. And we have released the old and rest. So we have two char two cards coming out, both reflecting, recharging, resting, okay? And I feel like this is for a season here, okay? I feel like I, uh, this collective have went through a lot in a relationship or a situation that you've tried to work on and your spiritual team has led you to this, this point where you know that you have to make a decision to leave something. You have to release any blame and just accept responsibility for your part in it. Surrender control to whatever the other person may be thinking or however you felt the situation may should have went. Okay. This is the energy that's grounding you here. Okay. I feel a very heavy reflective energy going on here. Divine Holy Spirit. Okay, one more card for the grounding. What else is grounding the collective? Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you. And we have mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. Okay. And I just said that, you know, thinker, reflecting. Okay. Looking at yourself, how far you've overcome the things that you must overcome, the things that you're walking away from. Okay. And we have peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. I feel like that's that blame and surrendering control, allowing something to happen. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around the desires? Thank you. And we have summer bask in joy and light. Okay. And I feel like that's the energy, you know, of, <clears throat> excuse me, that justice card there. Something balanced coming in for the collective that I'm reading for here. Okay. You want to bask in success is what I'm hearing. You want to be in the winner circle. You want golden opportunities, 
Okay, you want to prosper is what I'm getting off of this, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, I'm getting systems off of this as well. So you might work heavily in technology. I'm getting off of this card. You have something you're developing, okay, that you're, you're, you're trying to create and trying to push out there amongst some type of relationship problem. May not resonate with everyone, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around what the collective needs to let go of? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around what the collective need to go need to let go of? Our angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around what the collective need to let go of? Okay. And I feel like you have mountains, stand your ground, and night be brave and honest. Okay. And I feel like this is just standing in your truth. Okay, and I also get the energy of not backing down just to appease. Okay, I feel like you know, speaking your truth, but in a loving way, being just honest and forthright. Okay, in what you believe and what you feel should or should not have happened. That is the energy right there that you need to stand in. For some of you guys, you don't want to stand in this energy. Okay? Because for some of you, you know you don't want something to end. Okay? You're, you're steady trying to clean up and fix something up that, you know, it's time to leave. Spirit is giving me. So, Spirit is asking for you to just stand up. Be brave and honest. Stand your ground in a situation that you know that um, it's time to go. Okay? And cleaning it up and letting it go is being brave and honest and standing your ground about how you feel. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around where the collective shall direct their intentions? What is the energy around where the collective should direct their intentions? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit, with the energy. And we have Sage, be devoted and committed to trusting your inner voice, to moving beyond certain challenges, okay? Because mountains can also reflect challenges, okay? So, whatever it is that you're challenging, that's challenging you right now. Speak your truth about it and stand your ground about it. Okay, be devoted. Okay, to this change, be devoted. Okay, to this healing, balance, and energy that's coming in. Okay, it's gonna be able to allow you to clean the situation up and move on. Is what I'm getting. Okay, I feel heavy reflecting going on too with this hermit and this mirror guardian. Like, I feel like the collective that I'm reading for is taking a look at all different type of aspects of their life and how different things are connected and interwoven, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice? Thank you. What is the advice? Okay. And we have White Witch Be the Light. Okay, be that force. Okay, deep knowing. You know who you are. I know what I'm here to do. You know your purpose. Despite whatever conflict that might be going on. Okay, be the light. Be positive. Think positive. Okay, you have the prayer out here. Help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me to manifest my dreams and live an inspiring, fulfilling life. Be the light. Okay, so we're going to go in with some tarot on top of this, okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit, what is coming through? Let's cut and see what's coming out. Okay. 
Divine Holy Spirit, give me some energy around this past of the collective. What is the energy around the past for this collective? Thank you. Okay, someone definitely start changing you. Someone definitely making you an option. Okay. A person about town, man or woman about town. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy of the collective? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy of the collective now? Thank you. And we have Queen of Swords, Three of Cups. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around the future for the collective? What's the energy? Thank you. We have the Tower. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around the collective for the future? Six of Cups. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the energy? Thank you. We have the Fool. We have the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Okay. So I feel like in the past you were with or dealing with a person that made you an option, shortchange you, and push you into your healing, push you into recognizing something. Okay, with this unfinished symphony, okay, and this clean it up card, time to go. So you left that situation, though you still you know, are attached, you still feel a certain something for this sir, this person. You, I feel a reflecting over times when times were good, but you know, you, you will be open to talk to this person with the queen of swords energy, but you're definitely cutting off anything, <coughs> excuse me, that is not serving you here. In the future, you have a lot going on because I see, you know, reflecting of the past, something with a person in the past. Okay. This full energy, so I feel like this power moment is connecting with a person of the past. Something comes to an end. Something is transformed here, okay, with an old situation. And I do feel a walking away energy here. I feel a letting go energy here, okay, with this fool, okay. And I feel like you walk into, you know, a long-term commitment that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Divine Holy Spirit, what is this um fool energy? Tower. What is this tower energy? Give me some energy surrounding this tower. Okay. Magician. Divine Holy Spirit. What's the energy around this tower? Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. It's something that you guys are manifesting. It's something that, that you guys are creating. It's something this new success is going to come through the same at a cost with this wheel of fortune, but it's not like a bad cost because towers are, you know, meant to come down to be rebuilt stronger and better. Okay. And you have the magician with the wheel of fortune. So I feel like you're manifesting, you're creating something with this deep knowing here and this justice card coming out as well. For some of you guys, you moved on from a toxic relationship that was in you was in a lot of cycles with this person okay and i feel like you you really do end it okay you really do put an end to what all this person is about you see what this person is about you see that something is not going to change and i feel like you really end something here if you haven't already with this person okay but i do see also that you guys um you go into a commitment here with this King of Pentacles and this Ace of on um, this Knight of Cups. You go into a strong commitment with someone that you're gonna be happy with, okay? But you're gonna move out of this energy of anyone from the old, okay? You're just gonna leave something behind. You just gonna drop it, okay? You're gonna heal from it and you're gonna drop it. It's the energy that I'm getting off of this right here, okay? So the Divine Holy Spirit wants me to leave it at that, you guys. I'm sending you guys nothing but love, light, and divine healing energy. Please hit that comment section. Let us know how this video resonated with you. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, boo. Okay, and then come check me out over at Empress Queen Tate Tarot and Oracle, okay? With that being said, until next time, you guys, bye.